Okay, I'm in um, I'm in Miaoli County again. I'm in um, what's it called S San San Biao Mountain, just outside Sanshi. It's a little bit of a windy day. It's colder today than what I expected, but it's lovely. So, you know, it's it's nice. Oh, well, anyway, I'm gonna go up this mountain. I'm on a trail at the moment, but I'm gonna go through the bush. I'm gonna do another uh, bushwhack, a bushwhacking adventure, but this time up a small mountain. So let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I started going through the forest, heading up a mountain, San, San Biao mountain. It's a small mountain, but I thought it would be a, a great little challenge for me. This is what my view is. Got to get through this. All right, here we go. I'll go up this way. Maybe a little bit safe. I'm not too far away from the trail, so I, I um, so I won't get lost. But yeah, trying to watch where I step. Yeah. Interesting. Made by termites, I suppose. All along the tree here. There, here's the trail. So I'm going to join the trail now and again. A little break. This cobweb here. It's a free. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, now and again, I'm gonna join the trail for little breathers. Just me way for the bush here. Now I'm gonna go carrying up there. It's a lot more hard work going uphill than it is going across a, flat, uh, a straight flat, obviously. I'm um, already breaking sweat, climbing over, climbing over tree trunks. Okay. Up this way. Uh, let's get through here. Maybe if I go through here. And I could go maybe up here and around. I'm trying to find the gaps in the trees. Oh. Gosh, I see. This is one way to truly experience the nature of the local area. If you follow along the trails, yeah, you experience the nature, but this is like the hardcore experience in the nature. Getting, getting down and dirty in the brambles. <sighs> okay, I think I'm nearly at the next trail already. It kind of goes like a little zigzag up the mountain, so it gives me little breaks. This is cool. Yeah, my face went right in the cobweb. Oh, where's the beast that made that? <laughs> Hopefully not on me. It's quite cool seeing little uh, future trees like this. This is a future tree. And um, one day it should grow as big as that. Isn't it little fella? One day. He's got a lot of fighting. He's got a lot of fighting to do to get that big. He's got many years to go. Still a baby. Okay. This here, this whole tree is coming down. If it wasn't jammed by here, I don't know if you can see it, that would have been on the floor by now, rotting. All the dust. Let's see, you know, the little creatures that could live inside here, the little bugs. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. 
don't want to stand underneath that, that trunk. That way is too thick. I need to go this way. I, it looks like it kind of opens up again. Maybe it rejoins the trail. Let's see. Got to go under this thing. Okay. I've come out on another trail. This trail looks a little bit more rustic than the other one. I've just come through here. But I don't want to trample through this because um, like I, said, I don't want to damage like the plants and the animals' homes. Breaking through already dead, rotten sticks, that's fine, but, but this now. So I'm going to go along the trail a little bit and then when I see an opening, a little bit more clearing, I'll head back up again. But I'm not, I'm not walking through that. I don't want to damage it. So, please be sensible. <laughs> this little trail seems a bit cool. You know, it looks a bit more natural. I, I don't like the uh, the concrete trails, the asphalt, like the asphalt ones. This is cool. This is nice to walk on. The rocks. And go a little bit up, then I'll go back into the bush again. Okay. So it looks like it goes through this way a little bit, it goes up and around uh, and I go through this little bush, it kind of, it goes up like this now until I get to the, uh, the path on the other side. Alright, powering through, powering through. This opens up kind of getting slowly above the tree lines, I suppose. Yeah, so we have, there's a little opening by here that comes around. I think some animal made it. So yeah, starting to open up. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm back on the trail. The reason why, look at this. It comes up here, right. And then it goes right through the shrubbery. I can't get through that. I don't have the skills to get through that yet. Also, I can have a machete. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll be scratched up like crazy if I went through those bushes. I would go to work the next day with scratches down my face, scratches down my arms, my legs. Nah, not worth it. This trail is wild enough anyway. That's cool. The moment I find an opening, I will go back into the shrubbery again and carry on because I feel like this is cheating a little bit. It's too easy. But look at that. Like, how do you even get up that? I'd literally have to. I would literally have to push my way through the ferns here to get through there. I literally cannot do it. Below here, this here is the township of uh, township of Sanyi, which is like the most southern town in Miaoli County. So yeah, and this is like the highway, where go? the highway that goes through it. Carry on going down that way, you head, to, you go into Taichung. The mountain I did before, via mountain, um, you can literally just see it. Oh, where's, where is it? Oh, there. This is it. That's that's the mountain I did before. Fire Mountain. Beautiful view. Now I got two choices. I could carry on up the trail if I really want to, um, or I think it's starting to open up a little bit. Uh, where was it? Kind of through here. It starts to open up a little bit, but I, I don't know. I think this bush, this bushwhack might be a little bit of a failure. It's too bloody difficult. I think I've bitten off more than what I can chew. Can't get a good grip. Ugh. Okay. Nearly there. Is that kind of hold? Let me show my feet up in the right places. Okay. 
here we go. I've made it to the uh, the top of Sun Barrel Mountain. Only a small one, 507 meters. 